Hello, Colorado State University class of 2020. Congratulations, you did it. I know today isn't quite how any of us pictured this big moment, but the fact that we're here today celebrating your achievements is a tribute to the resilience of the entire RAM community. All of you who suddenly found yourselves finishing up years of hard work in a new virtual environment. Faculty who also had to make that swift transition to assure you'd make it to the finish line with the education you'd been promised. And now all of your families and friends who are joining us for this virtual celebration. I wish we could all be here on campus together to celebrate, especially because the trees on the Oval are beginning to flourish at this time of year. I miss being on the Oval every day. It's made me realize that our CSU community, like our beautiful green campus, is a kind of ecosystem in which we all depend on one another. The challenges of these past months may have kept us physically apart, yet facing them has bound us more closely together. There's a kind of fragility inherent in that interdependence, and it impacts even wonderful moments like celebrating your graduation from CSU. It feels strange not to be physically with all of you, not to be able to shake hands, high five, or hug. And I know you feel that way about the friends who have made this journey with you and the faculty and staff mentors who've made it possible. But over the last few months, I have also seen this community and all of you in particular exhibit an incredible strength and resiliency that generations have shared and experienced in difficult times. Times of war, times of economic upheaval, and yes, times of pandemic. That resiliency is rooted in our land grant mission. As a university, Colorado State was born in a time of crisis and founded on a revolutionary commitment to access, to generating knowledge, and to use it to meet the world's biggest and most complex challenges. All of you inherit that legacy of resilience and will carry it forward. The class of 2020 is one for the history books and an example for future generations. I can't wait to see where your journeys take you and how you will use your CSU education to change our world for the better. As your president, I am incredibly proud of all of you. Let's celebrate this unforgettable moment, physically separated, yet truly together. Hello, my name is Jonah Goose, and I am honored to represent Fort Collins, Colorado State University, and the wonderful people of this Colorado Second Congressional District in the United States House of Representatives. I just wanted to send you all a huge congratulations to each and every one of the students graduating this spring. I know that this is not how you envisioned your last semester, but I hope that you are staying safe and healthy. And I know that we will get through this pandemic together. You all have put in a great deal of work, years of hard work, and you all should be proud of this incredible academic accomplishment. In these unprecedented times, it is critical to have thoughtful, dedicated, and knowledgeable leaders. And it heartens me to know that a new class of leaders are graduating from Colorado State University who will be leading our state and our country for years to come. So please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay hopeful. And again, congratulations. Congratulations to all of our graduates here today and to your families. It's a wonderful moment to enjoy, to reflect on all of your accomplishments and to look with hope to the future to future accomplishments, triumphs, and successes. I'm Rick Miranda, Provost here at Colorado State, and as such, I lead the Division of Academic Affairs, all the faculty, the academic departments, the colleges, etc. I am continually amazed, day after day, year after year, not only at the disciplinary accomplishments of our faculty, but also at their humanity, their humility, and their desire to make a difference and their genuine concern for you, our students. Let me speak for our faculty when I report that we are greatly honored to have worked with you these years. Indeed, you give us the best opportunities to make a difference in our careers. I trust that you have felt that too, 
and that your years here at CSU will have set you on a path that will make us all proud. You know, finally, we're in the education business here, and I want to close with the pitch. Pay that education forward. Insist on quality and work to improve education at all levels, in your own family, in your local community schools, and in our state universities. We look forward to your future and your support. And with your and others' help, students for many generations to come will be preparing for accomplishments and success here at Colorado State University. Thank you. Extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures. And we're gathering today to honor an extraordinary achievement, your graduation from Colorado State University. If this were your actual commencement, you'd have been sitting for a while listening to the strains of pomp and circumstance and watching hundreds of your professors and fellow students filing into the rows of folding chairs for the most timeless and important tradition of higher education, the commencement of our graduates. You'd also see me dressed as I am in the puffy hat and gown. But it's not the formality, the music, or the robes that make this transition important. It's the symbolism of honoring your work, the work that brought you to this point, the investment our faculty and university have made in you, the support and commitment of your family and friends, and the promise of your future from this moment on. And so, knowing that your real ceremony is still a few months away, please allow me to offer you a short preview. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, I hereby confer upon you your degrees with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Congratulations. If this were an actual commencement, you would be now sitting down for the charge to the class or the commencement address. Let's face it, nobody's going to miss that. These things are usually mind-numbingly boring, and I have yet to find someone who remembers one thing that was said in one of them. I certainly don't remember what I've heard. On a good day, I can remember what I've said at some of them. But I do want to leave you with this thought. You all have the ability to make a difference in this world. You're amazingly talented, or you wouldn't be here. You know great resilience, or you wouldn't be here. You graduate into a time of immense challenge, and yet you know how to overcome those things. At the end of the day, you've got an opportunity to do what generations before you have tried to do and sometimes succeeded, but too often failed. And that's to make a difference. My generation has a lot we're proud of, but we've left you a lot of work to do. And I'm confident, knowing you all as I do, that you can do it. So that's my charge to you. It's no more complex than that. Be the best version of you. Live a life that makes a difference. And thank you. Go Rams. Let's celebrate you and all that you have accomplished during your time at Colorado State University and being an Aggie in the College of Agricultural Sciences. You know, I can't imagine what you're, what you're feeling right now because these are unusual circumstances, but I also understand what it feels like to graduate. So it wasn't so long ago that I got my bachelor's degree in this very ballroom at Colorado State University. And I remember some of the feelings that, that I had then, and maybe they're the same feelings that you have. I mean, there's this uh, immense feeling of gratitude for everyone that's helped you get to where you are now. Uh, sometimes that's your friends, right? Uh, that, that helped you along the way, that studied with you, uh, that inspired you, uh, that challenged you as, you as you went through your studies, and, and maybe as you went through some of the recreational time that, that came with everything that you did. There was also a little bit of, of gratitude that you feel toward those doggone faculty, and maybe you don't feel that right now, uh, as you've just finished up your finals. But when you think about it, it was those faculty that, that had you in their classrooms and they asked you that extra question. Uh, or maybe they were the one who pointed you in the direction that you hadn't thought about before. And those professional staff too, right? Your ASCs, your advisors, they were the ones who helped you find your career path, uh, maybe guided you through courses. Uh, they were really the front line uh, when you had challenges. And they spoke to you about the importance of continuing and seeing a day when you would get that degree as well. 
So you feel gratitude for all those. In fact, if, if you happen to be sitting with your family right now, then I know you feel a debt of gratitude too. Would you just lean over to them and say thank you uh, to them? And maybe you could take out your phone and just send a quick text uh, to your advisor who's helped you get here today. And the next time you think about it, send a quick note to that faculty member, the one that made a difference in your life, and tell them about what it feels to have gratitude. Well, I have gratitude for you, for all the investment that you've put forth, and actually for paying it forward. Because of all the investments that you've made, of all that work that you've done, you've really built for yourself a future, a future around service. And that's what a land-grant university is all about, our ability to be able to serve others, whether that be in our home or our community or as part of a larger industry that is so important these days. I want you to know that we need you. We need you at your very best now. We need you to take those technical competencies that you picked up in classes and apply those to some of the most pressing challenges that we have. We need you. We need you to be leaders. We need you to step forward so that all of us can follow and be successful. And we need you to be those great, great global citizens that welcome people to the table, that make sure that everybody feels included. I'm so very proud of you as we celebrate what you've done, your graduation from Colorado State University. And know that no matter where your life's trajectory takes you, no matter the things that you do, you'll join more than 200,000 of us, CSU Rams, just like me, just like you, as we embrace the future. So congratulations to you, and go Rams. Hello, graduating class of 2020. My name is Jordan Marsh, and I am so incredibly honored to have traveled alongside you during our academic journey through the College of Agricultural Sciences. Though our futures will start to diverge, I know for a fact that work ethic, resilience, and a fierce determination have and will continue to define all that we do. I'm excited to call you my RAM family, and it is this support that we need right now in these uncertain times to pave our way into the future. Go Rams! Hey, it's Charlie Blackman of the Rockies. Congratulations to the 2020 Colorado State University graduating class. I'm super proud of you guys. You made it. Four tough years, hopefully four. Um, I'm really excited for your future and what you guys bring for the state. So if there ever was a graduating class in recent memory that really deserved this congratulations, it is y'all. I mean, graduating is always about context and the different types of adversities and challenges that you face in order to get to where you are and given that you stayed the course at this time well that really deserves congratulations i am deeply proud of you all and i am very excited about the innovation and the dreaming and the skills that you will be bringing to our future despite this context and in spite of where we are now and take us to some place we have never been congratulations
Hi, this is Bill Stevenson with The Blasting Room and The Descendants. I'd like to congratulate all the students that are graduating in the spring of 2020. Good job. I know it was a lot of hard work. Congratulations. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nate from The Band in the Whale. I hope you're all staying healthy and I want to tell CSU graduates congratulations on graduating and uh, hanging in there. Hope to see you all at a show soon. Please welcome the part of him, your Colorado State Marching Band. Congrats to the class of 2020. What a huge accomplishment, congratulations. I'm Derek Thieler, I'm an actor based in Los Angeles. I graduated from Colorado State in 2009. And all I wanna say is, I'm proud to be a CSU Ram. You should be too. Congratulations for all your hard work in making the difficult transition to finishing up your semester online. You will have learned a lot of things from this. Get out there. Make the world have a better future. Go Rams. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm Amy. We're from the band Post Paradise. <laughs> Congratulations on graduating. Um, I'm a CSU alumni too, and I know how hard you've worked to get here, so yay. We love Colorado State. Thank you for always being such a great audience, and we wish you nothing but the best. <laughs> What's up, class of 2020? It's Trent Sig. I'm a mechanical engineering alum from the class of 2018. I've spent the last two years out with the Raiders, working hard, trying to really represent Colorado State the best way that I know how. Make sure you guys are all proud. And I'm just really honored that I get to be one of the first people to say congratulations. You guys made it through. You're getting your degrees. Obviously, it's not really ending the way any of us thought that it was going to, but if I know anything about what it means to be a Ram, you're all gonna go take on this adversity head on. Rams don't shy away from tough situations. In fact, we thrive in them. And you guys are really gonna be the ones to go out there and show everyone what we mean when we say we're proud to be. Congratulations, guys. Can't wait to see what all you accomplish here in the next few years. Good luck and go Rams. Hello CSU graduate students, I'm Hannah Holbrook from the band Shell and I'm a CSU alumni myself and I want to congratulate you for the hard work that you've done. I want to commend you for investing in yourselves and I know you're going to take your gifts and your skills and make the world a better place. So good on you. Spring is much so bad. Woo! I'm here the song we hope to make. 
Bye.